idea of an affordable open top was hardly new to Japan. Preceding decades had seen oddities such as the Datsun Fairlady, Honda S500 and Toyota Sports 800 emerge, often as their fledgling makers' first production models. But by the end of the 1970s, with the demise of such icons as the Triumph Spitfire, MGB and original Lotus Eel, the segment was assumed to be in decline. It was these models, though, that Mazda dissected during the MX-5's development, and they are among the reasons why it emerged in 1989 as a small, sub-one-ton, front-engine, rear-drive, perfectly balanced home run. Ironically, the MX-5's success found a counterpoint almost immediately in the lukewarm reception and daring sales figures that greeted the all-new Elan which emerged only a few months later, lumbered as it was by a higher price, lumpier looks and front-wheel drive. The first MX-5 was arguably the model's dynamic high point. Its successors were generally very good too, but they became progressively more powerful, bigger, heavier and that bit less exciting to drive. Now Mazda, with its Skyactiv engineering program in full swing, insists it has returned to the old template. Shorter, lower, wider and, most importantly, lighter, the new MX-5 comes with a choice of either 1.5 or 2.0-liter naturally aspirated petrol engines and the promise of unparalleled Jinba Itai dash the manufacturer's catch-all term for oneness between car and driver. For 2016, Mazda created the fourth iteration of its special edition icon model, which we drove around Iceland to announce its arrival, and coming in 2017 is the hardtop Mazda MX-5 RF.